welcome to the channel. My name is Erin. Um, today, I want to talk about decorative covers. So, I've had some questions on how I made this and how I made this and the Jaboon has one also and then my Midori notebook also has a decorative cover on it. With the Hobonichis, the Jaboons, your Midori notebooks, your lecterns, those types of things, we really don't get the flexibility of redecorating them for every season. And what I have done is this. So we're going to use an example. We're going to take the Strawberry Mega Weeks, and then this is just the clear cover on cover. And I hope all this is staying. It is. I zoomed out enough. This is just the clear cover on cover. So it fits on it like so. And the lighting may be a little bad. I didn't want to do the overhead lighting because of the PVC covers tend to glare. But here's what I did. You take them off. And then you're going to take a piece of paper. And you're going to cut it to fit inside the cover. So this one, I just literally took a blank piece of paper, trimmed it to fit inside the cover like so. And look, now I'm struggling to get it in there when before it just slips right in and out. Now it's going to have a little bit of buckle to it when you slip it in there because you want to be able to close it and have it fit well. So you can see when I close it, it's not gonna have that buckle in it. So we have our paper the right size. The rest is completely and totally up to you. If you just wanted to use pretty cardstock, you could use pretty cardstock. If you wanna use washi tape, this is literally all I do. And it takes me just a couple of minutes as now I'm struggling with washi tape. You would think I've never used washi tape. Um, I just take it, put it down, and then grab your corners. And you can use whatever kind of washi tape you want to. You know, you can make your own decorative tape. Um, if you have questions on how to make your own decorative tape, I did a book review yesterday on um, the planner book and inside the planner book it gives you instructions okay this washi tape is so old it doesn't even work well some of these washies have not been used in their Michaels I just kind of reached in my overflow stash and grabbed some I guess I probably should have at least started them huh Oh my gosh, is this going to be one of those DIY videos where I go, okay, I don't have my glasses, so I can't see the edge. And I don't have my glasses, so I can't see the edge. Um, I'm just going to grab some random washi that has the roll already started. I know these colors don't go together. I'm doing it more to give an example of the next step. Oh, look, that one's not even straight. Ta -da -da. Oh, Erin, you tore the page. Why did you tear the page? Guess what? It's okay, because we're fixing to cover that sucker up. But I just destroyed that while she said we won't use that one. Y'all, I'm so bad today. Oh, I kind of actually like. I wonder what other orange and red washi I have. Um, you basically just come in and lay your washi. And then once you have the entire sheet covered, and I think this is the one I was, nope, this is not the one I was struggling with early. This is a new one I'm struggling with. Um, all the washi I'm using right now came from Michaels. I have an entire tower 
on the side of my desk that is just covered in Michael's washi. So once you have this done, every so often you're gonna pick it up and you're gonna turn it over. And what I have found is if I do this with my washi, it stays better when I put my cover in. And then just on those corners like that, I will take my scissors and just trim the edge. Now the row that goes underneath it is gonna secure the other side. Now here is why I wrap them around. Because if I don't wrap them around, when I go to put them inside my um, cover, they're going to curl and they're going to stick to the plastic and it's going to make a big old giant mess. Again, I don't have my glasses on, so this may not be perfect. Ooh. Now I know why I don't use that Michaels washi that often. This one's waxy, but it's pretty. Okay, so once you have it all wrapped around it, all you literally have to do is just slip it inside the cover. So I will be right back after I finish covering this. All right, I have finished covering it. I wrapped the edges around the back and the thin washi I find likes to come up. So that's why I wrapped it around the back. And then I'm just going to take my cover and I'm going to slip it in. Now, with some of these that have a little bit rounder corners, I have to use my crops and crop the corners for it to come all the way up to the edge. With this one, I did not have to do that. And then I'm gonna take my weeks. And I'm gonna slip my weeks in there. Now, Wrapping the washi tape around the edges is twofold. One, now when I open my planner, you can see that touch of decorative tape around the edges. And I hope I'm still, I am still in there. Now, the first little bit, when I first put these covers on here, what I tend to have to do is either put something heavy on top of them and let them sit for a little while or use a band to keep it closed for a little while until that edge kind of breaks in a little bit. So, this is the Midori. I left the corner square on it. This one, I'm not going to pull out because I did not wrap this washi around it and these little strands were coming up. They stick to the plastic, the edges. It was a hassle trying to get it in there. For this one, so twofold. I have the Midori cover that I have over my Hobonichi. I have that one done. And then for the cover on cover, this one, I did have to go in and round those corners. So I just used my crop it all on the half and popped those corners. And you can see it covers it very nicely. So when you open it, you get that touch of that washi tape on the backside showing through. And then when I close it, you cannot see the original Midori cover, but I have the ability to use the pockets 
that were inside. And this is the, the Lucy cover is the cover that I actually have. And I never use those. I always just let them dangle. But that is how I have been making these washi covers for a variety of different things. So it's actually kind of therapeutic. It's an inexpensive way to change out your cover with the season. I like these purples and pinks and the mint blues. They're gonna be real pretty going into spring. When I go into summer, I may have something a little bit more vibrant and bright for the summer months. Um, again, you can use decorative paper, all kinds of things you can use with it. So just real quick, easy way to use washi tape to make insert covers for your planners. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, leave the comments in the bottom. It's been a while since I've done a DIY video. Uh, this one was very simple, so I hope you enjoy it. If you make a cover like this, please put your covers on Instagram and tag me. I would love to see them. Um, also on Instagram, I'm Erin's Got a Plan, so please just follow me. I'm looking forward to see what you do with this idea, and I hope you enjoy it. Remember, we all got a plan. We just all do it a little bit differently. Thanks, guys.